Have you ever wanted to help solve a cold case? Some students at Western Michigan University in Kalamazoo are doing just that. And they have already helped Michigan State Police solve one case and they're now sifting through a fresh round of cases and evidence. This semester, 9 and 10's David Leiden and videographer Josh Monroe paid a visit to campus to see the work these students are doing. These students are going through literally page by page, several thousand pages of a police file. Solving a cold case, it's no easy task, even for the most seasoned detective. But sometimes the more eyes there are on a case, the more ideas, theories and clues that pop up. And at Western Michigan University, students are serving as that extra set of eyes. I've always been interested in cold cases for as long as I can remember. I kind of grew up watching true crime shows, reading books about unsolved cases. I've always been really like into the serial killers, things like that, following news stories, reading up on like historical ones. It's always been something that kind of fascinated me. I always knew I was interested in this, specifically forensics, and I've always watched different documentaries, movies. These students aren't doing suspect interrogations, but they are helping state police with what can be one of the most time-consuming parts of a cold case. So at first we started scanning documents from cold cases that detectives have given us to do. Then we make that into a collapse PDF file for detectives to look through on their phone to make it easier for them to go through big binders full of just paperwork of all these cases. Along with that, we just do a lot of teamwork regarding talking about the things we're reading. Any kind of maps we can draw out family trees, anything where we can like take a section of the case and kind of work on that and expand on that. Condensing all that material down from boxes and boxes of files to a searchable PDF saves detectives countless time and energy when chasing down potential new leads. And sometimes those leads or ideas on where to turn next come straight from the students. I would probably say there's so much more that goes into it than I thought and it's a lot more emotional than I would have expected. Um, you have to be very uh, strong in the sense of your emotions and not let your emotions get the best of you. All that meticulous work quickly paid off when state police announced the arrest of a man tied to a West Michigan cold case in 2022. Your program's been up and running roughly two years yeah. and you've already helped with one I know conviction. it makes it that's sound, gotta be a really good feeling I know it makes it sound really good doesn't it I love <laughs> this we have a hundred percent success I keep telling everybody that real quick I think for me the kind of biggest moment was attending Patrick Gillum's sentencing I was involved with the Roxanne Wood case and getting to go down there and see that moment of justice and closure and get to meet her family really just drove home how big and important the work we're doing here is. All that in-classroom experience is translating to invaluable real-world experience. I feel like for me it's definitely getting like hands-on. I've always wanted a hands-on experience and definitely getting to know like detectives and everyone that's like a part of this as well. Even if we don't go anywhere it's still making a difference. Yeah. And I think it feels really good when you do get a little step in the right direction. Um, I think whether or not we go anywhere I think I'm satisfied is what we've done so far. These students really are the leaders of tomorrow. They are the most educated people that we have in American society. And so regardless of what they decide to do, how cool is that? That they have seen in detail what a police file looks like. They have seen in detail what good policing looks like. I think that's really important considering many of the controversies that are going on in American society today. In Kalamazoo, David Lydon, 9 in 10 News. And those students at Western Michigan University had much more to say to David about the cold case program. And you can listen to their full interviews on our Unsolved podcast. It's available now wherever you get your